I think I believe in them. Uh, they've been the most consistent team in that division. Let's just be honest about 100%. it. 100%. I mean, the, the, the Cardinals are a mess. The Rams are a mess. San Francisco, when healthy, is really good. But Geno Smith and company have been the most consistent team since the jump. So I believe in them because I believe in Pete Carroll. And, you know, everyone in New York or the greater New York area wants to talk about, oh, the coach of the year races between Brian Dayball and Robert Sala. And they're great coaches, and they've done a great job. That is 100% not true, okay? You have what Pete Carroll is – like, both the Giants and Jets had Geno Smith. You know what he was, and he's a totally different dude now under Pete Carroll. Then, look, you have to bring in Mike Vrabel to the conversation for Coach of the Year. Um, they didn't have a receiver with a single reception Sunday night, and somehow they still took the Chiefs to overtime before Kansas City came away to win because Patrick Mahomes is a golden god and I'll die on that hill and I'll defend it and I'll have all I have all the receipts if you want to talk <laughs> about it. I have all of them. So like you can have all the quarterbacks that you like. That guy is one of one and it's not close. It's not a debate. It's not an opinion. It's a fact. Um so when you have Mike Vrabel doing the things he's doing, again, not a single wide receiver had a catch Sunday night. And somehow they took the number one scoring offense in football to overtime. So uh, I believe in Geno, I believe in Seattle, but more importantly, I believe in how wide open the coach of the uh, year race is on, despite what people in New York want.